y'all welcome to what Chelsea eats thank you so much for joining me today in this video I'm going to be sharing with you what I'm going to be doing for vlogmas it is the very first time in all the years that I've been doing YouTube that I will be doing vlogmas and if you're new here welcome I'm so glad you landed on my channel my name is Chelsea Knudsen and I help women shrink fibroids and heal wound issues using food and God's Word as medicine so here's what I'll be doing I'll be posting a video here on my YouTube channel every day for the first 24 days of December this is what I'm calling the 24 days of Christmas but for the sake of YouTube, we're gonna call it Vlogmas. These videos are not vlogs at all. There may be some pieces where there are some vlogs involved, but that's not my plan. Here's what I'll be doing. So each day I will be sharing with you a new topic that will help you on your healing journey. So today the topic I would like to discuss with you is finishing the year strong. I have a membership called the Fibroid Detox Academy and that academy is for women who have been through my 90 day program who have a need for additional support and these last two months we've really been digging deep on finishing the year strong just because it's the end of the year doesn't mean that we need to just kind of coast and uh, eat garbage or let stress overtake us for the holidays or whatever fill in the blank your problem is but just like in January when we set those goals to do certain things in the year we can be just as diligent as we were on January 1 today which is December 1st so Say, for example, you fell off the wagon all the way back on January 31st or January 5th of 2023. I'm not suggesting that you need to do New Year's resolutions or anything like that, but most people, they do set some type of goal for the year. I know that I do. I set goals for the year. And what I'm asking you to do is to go back and look at what some of those goals are that you had set for yourself, but maybe you just kind of stopped putting the momentum behind those goals and so if that is the case what you can do is say okay what can I do today to move closer to this goal instead of waiting until January 1 waiting for the holidays to take over your life or do damage in ways that are they can be completely avoided so go back think about some of those things also maybe you didn't set any goals at the beginning of the year maybe you didn't even start a health journey and this doesn't even have to be about your health journey it could be whatever it is that you really wanted to accomplish this year or if this is the first time you're thinking about it well think about what you would like to accomplish here in december between december 1st and december 31st before the beginning of this year starts again what is it that you really want is it healing is it a new job or is it new friendships? Is it a better relationship with God? Is it to get over a food addiction? Do you want to shrink fibroids? Do you want to get pregnant? What do you really want? And if you want that thing, then you're going to have to make some changes in your life so that you can make those things happen. The biggest thing that I think gets in the way of us actually accomplishing the goals that we set for ourselves is one we may not have a good plan of action but maybe we do have a good plan of action but we won't follow out what it is that we're supposed to do in order to get to that goal and sometimes we quit because it's hard say for example you want to shrink up shrink the fibroids for example and i know most of you who are watching my channel that's why you're here but say you want to shrink the fibroids and you have a list of things that you need to do but because they get the things that you need to do gets hard you give up on yourself why have you given up on yourself why you are worth doing whatever it takes for you to get to the place that you want with your health you're worth it 
So I'm suggesting here that you go back and you get that little notebook or whatever you wrote your goals down in for shrinking fibroids, dust it off, read what you wrote. And if you have a plan, start implementing your plan right now, not January 1st or March 1st or June 1st or next year or whatever. Right now, do it right now. What's stopping you? Nothing's stopping you but yourself. It's only a decision. And just because something is difficult or something is hard doesn't mean that you cannot or should not do it. And often you have heard me say, if you fall, all you have to do is get back up, dust yourself off and keep on going. Some of you may be saying to yourselves, I don't even know what to do. I don't even know. I don't even know where to start. Well, if that's you, I'm gonna give you three tips that will get you going. Decide what you want to do and make a plan. That's all there is to it. Decide what you wanna do and make a plan. Say you wanna shrink the fibroids. If that's, your, if that's what you wanna do, create the goal. You need a reason why you want to hit that goal, so it needs to be a strong why. I heard somebody say recently, get your why that makes you cry like what is the thing that you really want to do that may get you emotion get some emotion behind it like what is it and why you want to do it maybe you want a baby and you haven't been able to conceive maybe that's your thing well does that bring emotion to you that is like it makes you cry because maybe you haven't had that baby well Put that emotion behind that goal to help you shrink the fibroids so that you can open, so you can do everything in your hands possible so that you can open your womb so you can have um, that baby. Because a lot of times the reason why we're not pregnant is because of how we're treating our bodies. There are other factors at times, but I'm just talking about this right here in particular. Do everything you can within your reach to help you get to that goal. So once you've made you made the goal, you've got your why, you got you've got a plan, and then take that plan and stick to it. Do it no matter what. Doesn't matter if it's raining outside, do the plan. Doesn't matter if you're busy, do the plan. Doesn't matter if somebody dies, do the plan. Do you understand what I'm saying? Doesn't matter what's going on, do the plan. The next thing that will help you stay motivated is keep your goal and your why and your plan in front of you and and visit it every day. So for example, read it in the morning when you wake up, read it at lunchtime at work, Uh, read it before you go to bed. So you're constantly feeding your, your mind what it is that you're trying to accomplish. When you stay focused on something, like you put blinders on like a horse, You can't see to your left or your right. You're staying focused on that goal that you have set in mind. And that will help you to, that will help to propel you towards that goal. And lastly, but I think the most important part of this is to commit this thing to the Lord, commit it to the Lord and ask him for help. He will help you. He will help you, but you've got to stay focused on him. So Just like I said, stay focused on your goal. You stay focused on him to help you carry out the things that you need to carry out so that you can reach the goal. And when you do that, when things come up like roadblocks or um, maybe the healing isn't happening as fast as you need it to or, um, or want it to, or maybe you have some obstacles or maybe you need information. When you do that, When you have that relationship with God dialed in, there's nothing that can stop you from reaching this goal. Don't you know that God wants you whole? He wants you whole. He wants you whole. If he wants you whole, he's gonna help you with this process. So don't get distracted by what's going on around you, what people are saying, what people are doing. Stay focused on what it is that you want and keeping this com- this thing that you want committed to God because God is the one that put it in your heart like, to get well. Now, 
you can, if, if fibro shrinking fibroids is not your thing that you want to accomplish, well, fill in the blank or having a baby or whatever, fill in the blank, whatever it is, do the same steps for that thing that you want and committing it to the, to God, he will, he will, uh, make your path straight. He will give you everything that you need so that you can complete this goal. And let's just say this, just, let's just say, for example, the thing that you're saying that you want is not what God wants for you. He'll help you with that. He will straighten you out. He will actually make your path straight. He will actually give you the, the what you should be uh, actually going after. Like he will straighten out your path. Like, so for example, say your goal is to get married, for example, and you have a man right now in your life that you're supposed to, that you want to marry and you commit this thing to God. Let, I'm just saying this for example, say you commit it to God, but God eventually says, well, this isn't the man that you're supposed to marry. This man over here is the man you're supposed to marry. And you end up breaking up with the man that you thought you were supposed to marry so that he can bring the person that is really supposed to be your kingdom spouse. So I'm not saying that's going to happen, but I'm just trying to use that as an example. God will make your way straight. So there you have it. Finish the year strong. I hope this has been helpful to you. And if no one told you that they love you today, Chelsea in North Carolina loves you very much. And I will talk to you all soon. Take care.